Okay, hey, good morning, kitty cats. Oh, it's eight o'clock here in Kau in the big island. I usually wake up before dawn. I have to meet somebody uh, at 8.30, so I'm just kind of dorking around, but I thought I'd give a little update. Oh, man, so, you know, uh, I rewatched Pulp Fiction last month with my boy, my fam, right? And uh, I thought if there was ever a uh, sequel to Pulp Fiction, it should be Jules when he's like walking the earth like Cain. And instead of that quote from the Bible that he did before he blew a motherfucker's head off, he would just basically be guided by that. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Blada, blada, blada. I don't know the rest of it. But, <clears throat> so yeah, crazy beautiful week, man. I've been thinking a lot about wants. I mean, I've been sort of observing my thoughts and I noticed that I want a lot of shit. I mean, I have left the comfort of role and purpose of my past situation and now I'm here kind of, you know, figuring shit out. Like we're, we're, I'm working on a, uh, an off-grid cabin here uh, for some sort of possible purpose and dream in the future and sometimes it's very clear sometimes it's not but what I notice is that I just want shit you know especially when you don't have your shit I think I can't remember but I think when I was surrounded by my own shit I wanted more shit but I just realized man as you observe your thoughts a lot of it is like I want this thing and then I uh, get that thing and it's not as fucking cool as I thought it was going to be Huh, kind of whatever. And then, you know, like every time you do that, you just sign up for another, you know, month, week, hour, day, year of slavery, whatever kind of crazy desire that you have. And, you know, in my, you know, late stage of life, in my late stage capitalist existence, I realized, man, it's a tough, tough world, man. It's tough because you can try and be disciplined. But 24 hours a day, they have these automated systems that create desire. There's hedonic desire, which is held by the community, which makes you want what others want. You know, like unless you're, you know, and some people are above it all and, you know, are not affected by that, probably fucking not. But, you know, whatever, even if they're born that way, you know, but for the most part, there you are waiting to try to be disciplined, but you only have to drop your guard one second. You know, I Googled like the Lord's Prayer before I did this, because I forgot, or you know, not the Lord, whatever, the Lord, the that Psalm there. And man, like the first five entries were like Etsy posters. And I was like, that'd be kind of cool, you know, but like, luckily I didn't order it, but you know, I could have, because if just, just if you're tired, if you're wanting, you do want, then you get it, you know, like, so I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about want a lot and trying to kill your desires. Uh, I am full of desires. I'm full of want. Um, and, uh, but you know, I'm trying to beat them, <laughs> you know? And I went, I am in Kau. I love Kau, man. It's like country ass shit, you know? It's in the middle of nowhere, everybody says. I don't know, man, it's the middle of somewhere for me, man. It's in the middle of splendor and desolation and beauty, but, Anyhow, I went down to visit some friends that I met through my friend Newman, uh, who were just crazy good, powerful people, and they live down in, I can't remember, I think it's Kapoho, down near Pune, and my friend lost her cabin uh, in the 2018 um, eruption. And you know, they say when you've been here a while, you look at lava different, then you know like but i just look at it as like even the old shit it is just fire and brimstone destruction it just basically takes away all life all progress all everything you know it is the destruction part of it it's like uh when krishna turns to shiva and says i am time grown old i am the destroyer of all worlds and my course is set for total annihilation. And that's how I see it. And I see people that basically built a house, had a fucking plan. They're like, hey, I'm gonna live in this rainforest or whatever, I don't know what they were thinking, right? And all of a sudden, like just fire and brimstone comes and takes all their shit. And um, 
God, they're just some of the happiest, like most level people. And I'm just like, man, I just feel for you. You know, I mean, I, you know, like I feel like I don't know if it's empathy or something, but I'm like, wow, you had a plan and then lava took everything you worked for. And they're like, yep. And onward I go. It's so fucking powerful of a lesson for me, man. It really is. It was just like, and it's so beautiful. And like I went to a beach that didn't exist and I couldn't really believe it. I was like, are you fucking lying to me? Like is this giant beach. Sometimes you're just like, okay, it's geology. You kind of get it. You understand the mechanisms of it. But other times when you stand on large pieces of land that didn't exist a couple years ago, your mind is just blown. And so I definitely, my mind was blown by the energy of that area. I want to go back there and explore it. It's just so, ah, just really, really powerful. But, um, and my new friend, Mark, who I think is cool as shit, he um, was talking about gardening and he said, uh, yeah, gardening here is gardening by subtraction, right? Uh, meaning that you got some shit because they live, I don't know how to say this word, I think Kapuna. It's probably wrong, definitely wrong. I shouldn't have said it. There are areas that is spared by the lava, the volcano goddess Pele, who appears rather tangible here, even for my cynical mind. But you know, but there's those areas that the lava did not take. Uh, and they're green. Uh, kind of, if you look right here, this is a lava shit thing here. And uh, maybe that's a kapuna. But anyhow, there's areas where it doesn't, doesn't go. And she, they've got all kinds of stuff growing. And what they do is they take away what they don't need. So they take away the cane grass. And then they, you know, instead of adding to it. Uh, and I thought about that. And I thought about, like, uh, um, living a life of subtraction. You know? Just kind of... I think we're geared to want, and we need desires. We need to have goals, or else we're kind of dead. Kind of, maybe. I don't know if that's true, right? But, yeah, I've been thinking about, like, what can I, what can I be free of, you know? And uh, when I came to this place, I, uh, I had ordered a composting toilet, and, but it took a while to get everything and everything like that. And uh, I had, I didn't have any lights, you know, I needed to get lights. I had these little like puck lights and stuff like that. But then I got some solar lights and, uh, uh, oh, I got a grill, you know, with all this kind of shit, you know. And, you know, all those, th all those wants were, kind I mean, they're cool. Like definitely there's no fucking doubt. Oh, and a water heater. I had a water heater. And um, like a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Paloma. It's a propane on-demand hot water heater. It's all right. It's cool, right? Oh, I love the nature. You can hear there's a car alarm going on in the back. It's still fucking beautiful. But anyhow, man, so I went over to somebody else. I met my my friend Demo, who's from Iran, and just a really great guy. And he did this uh, little combo ritual thing, you know, which is like where they, from frog poison they burn on your skin and stuff like that and it makes you feel nauseous and it makes you go to the bathroom right and uh he's i'm like oh, okay because it was kind of a bad situation he's got a beautiful acre of land and he's like yeah just go over in the woods and so i ended up going out in the woods and i realized wow man that's some beautiful shit um like because at first it was gross i was squatting down and you're just like not used to that and i was like that's ridiculous like this is the way that we have eliminated like waste from our body for hundreds of thousands of millions of years and I find it like so and it was kind of beautiful like again probably the combo had something to do with that realization but I felt blessed to be in that moment of uh of something incredibly simple and I felt connected uh to the earth I mean you know I don't know at least for me spending any time in the uh on the big island, it, like you lean hard into that hippie, crazy Buddha shit, but literally shit, get it? Ha! Huh? But um, anyhow, and then um, so it was just a moment. It was like a moment of all, ultimate simplicity, uh, and it's you know obviously, or not obviously, but like 
I guess you don't want to do that all the time, but to realize that you could survive, you find yourself in a situation where you could survive literally, you know, uh, with nothing, um, it's empowering. And so that was kind of a, a <laughs> I mean, that's an extreme thing, but that was an example of basically realizing that, you know, separating your wants and your needs. And there's this feeling, there's this absolute, like, assumption that we need so much stuff to survive and we really don't. Like, we don't need it. So it's a want. So it's like, you know, having a beautiful flush toilet where, you know, your excrement men basically just goes out your butt and into water so you barely flush it, you know, you barely smell it. I mean, that's not a fucking need. That is a want. You know, like appreciate that. Don't like take that as like the baseline of how reality should always absolutely possibly be. Be grateful for that, right? Um, and uh, okay, that was weird, but it was a moment. But I also had that same thing with uh, the hot water heater. So like I had this hot water heater, I gotta set it up. You know, I got solar panels, you know, I got this battery, I got all this shit, you know, this electric pump and this, you know, I hook up the propane and all this stuff and then I, I get to stand under the water and you know it's actually kind of hard to adjust it a little bit and and I have to and I use maybe 10 gallons of water um, and in a shower and it's a short shower but still it's like 10 gallons of water and my, all my water either comes from rain or I haul it um, and so sometimes I'm lazy and uh, a lot of times I'm lazy and uh, and so I can basically, like I have a little fire, I start a fire in the morning and I, you know, heat up my water and then I have a big kettle that I got at a thrift store and I heat that up. So I have about like, I don't know, two gallons of hot water. And then I use that with a natural sponge and I just feel cleaner, man. I mean, I'm sorry, if you wipe down every spot of skin on your body with warm water and soap twice, I feel like you're fuck, you're clean, man. I don't know. And then sometimes, if I haven't started the fire, if I'm in and out, or if I'm weeding, or if I'm doing something, then I just do like some push-ups or some jumping jacks and get my heart rate up and get all sweaty and then just use cold water. And I've been doing that. I'm almost out of propane. And so like I've not been using propane for like five days. And so it's basically this sort of law of, of subtraction. And so... I mean, in my mind, like, I've switched the game. I'm like, can I not use propane today? I hope so. That'd be really cool. Uh, I am using the composting toilet, you know. But still, I had that moment of realization of... Um, that was pretty weird. I don't know if I should have went there with that. Actually, I don't know why. Sorry, that was really natural. Everybody in the whole fucking planet does it, like, at least once a day if they're not having problems. But sorry I digress into that. But anyhow... Law of subtraction. Fuck the law of attraction. I mean, it is 2020, man. It is late stage capitalism. I got so much crazy shit. Some of it for free. Some of it for cheap. Some of it for like way too goddamn much because I, you know, get caught up in this desire, you know, loop. Uh, but I've been focusing on my wants and focusing on my needs and trying to question them as much as possible, you know. And I think there's a place for them. Obviously, you know, you have to want to be alive. You have to want to breathe. But I've been holding my breath. I'm, I'm, I am uh, uh, planning for a fast. I have sort of reset myself at this point in my life to take away things. And when I take away things, I feel good. It's like an award for me or a, a reward. I'm like, okay, I, what can I do without? How simple can I uh, get and in the midst of that I'm freaking full of crazy desires watch your desires count them today count what you want today count what goes inside your head that, that is this you know like it's led with I want I don't know maybe you don't have any I have a lot I got some shit I gotta do because I want some shit but anyhow that is it the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. A oh, green pasture would be nice. I couldn't lay down here. All right. Peace out, kitty, kitty cats. Bye.